Hey everybody, welcome back to Better Computer. My name is Matt, and in today's video, we're gonna take a very quick, very early look at Rewind, which is an upcoming app. You can uh, get early access to it right now just by putting your email in. And yeah, it is a, the idea of it is it's a way to find things that you were previously working on on your computer in an easier way than ever before. And so it does this by effectively taking constant screenshots of everything you're doing on your Mac. There are some ways to opt specific things out. Um, for example, like incognito, as soon as you open like an incognito window in your browser, it stops recording, for example. Um, there's You can uh, opt specific apps out. Um, so we have like a privacy section and you can basically go through any app on your computer and opt that out. So whenever you open that app, it's gonna stop recording. It's gonna stop tracking um, what's going on. So you can use those privately. Um, for example, maybe one password you would want to not have recorded. But anyway, that's enough on what you don't want it to do. Um, let's just open up the application and see how it works. So I have a setup to a keyboard shortcut and here we go. So there's a search box that comes up and then it looks like it's my screen, but it's not actually. I actually have this feed right here that I can go through and you can kind of see what I did. Here's me setting up my recording <laughs> for this and everything. Um, I actually rebooted the computer in the middle. Um, here's me kind of going through some stuff earlier. And yeah, it's just got all my stuff. Uh, this was me browsing Letterboxd and Twitter. Um, I think I was actually watching a yeah YouTube video. Um, so it actually like records during the whole YouTube video. Um, so yeah, it's doing all that but let's actually search for something. So here's, here's a use case that's kind of cool. So I would I can like say, okay, I remember I was reading about something. I was reading some article. I don't remember the URL. I don't know where it was or whatever, um, but I remember they mentioned Studio 54. Studio 54 is referenced. So let me go ahead and search for that. Um, so I can do like Studio 54 hit enter, and it searches through my history and it says, okay, you saw it a couple of times on Mastodon pages and then here on a Buzzfeed news page. And I can click on this and it's gonna take me, okay, this was 13 minutes ago and here's the context for that, right? And so I can go ahead and um, just kind of scrub through. You can see I was reading, um, basically that's the link. I clicked it and then I read through the article. Um, so. One of the things is that it doesn't give me a way, as far as I can tell, to um, like capture the URL that I was at or to like go back to the state. It doesn't really do that sort of thing. Um, but it does give me an idea of, okay, it was on BuzzFeed News. Here's some text, which I can actually select and I can copy it. So like I could pretty easily copy and find it, um, it but just by Googling around. But yeah, it does that. Like I could do, um, I, maybe I want to remember what file was um, I have a thumbnail that says, let's eat grandma in it. So let me do uh, search for grandma. And there's quite a few um, results, but okay, here's a sketch document. Here's the music app. Um, here, here, let's go to this. So, okay, it was in the sketch document. Um, looks my, like my one through 36 albums. And I could go to sketch and find this. So it's a pretty interesting thing. Um, there's more you can do here. Um, let me go to the settings to kind of show you a little bit what's there. Basically, you can have it open at login. Um, remind me when it's paused, which I haven't seen yet. You can show it in the doc. Um, again, there's privacy uh, stuff where you can have specific apps. I'm actually gonna do that now. Let's not have one password show up in there. Um, you can do storage. You can tell it how long you wanna keep recording. So it's currently using 4.3 gigabytes. I told it to save things for a year. Um, it says it's gonna store about 14 gigabytes per month. We'll see um, how much that actually uh, happens. I've only been using it for like a week or two now. Um, there's keyboard shortcuts you can do. There's analytics um, where you can like turn on or off um, whether they can send you stuff. But yeah, this is kind of a really cool thing and you can scroll and you can go back and back and back and back and back and back and back. Um, and I'm not sure what's back here, but yeah, you can see all of your history. And again, you can just search for anything you want. And I'm trying to think of things that aren't gonna show personal items <laughs> that I can, um, cause I've just been using my computer and it's recording all the time. So um, I try to, I kind of want to, uh, yeah, just do things that, um, let's do Mastodon cause that's a uh, thing. Um, yeah, so here's like all of the references to Mastodon it finds um, on pages. You can filter by specific apps. Um, so like, for example, if I was like, okay, I want to find Mastodon, um, but there's all these instances, where do I actually want to see it? Um, let's try Obsidian. What are the instances of in Obsidian? So it looks like I have a uh, document called Mastodon, which is in my highlights in Obsidian. And so I can go ahead and check that out. Um, but yeah, again, it would be 
if this was built into the system um, and it was kind of like integrated with Time Machine somehow, it would be kind of cool if you could like click on this and go back to that state with this app open to this place and kind of get into here. It doesn't do that. It's a third party app. It just it literally can't do that. But I think it's really cool um, just the what you're able to do here. Like that's really awesome. Like here's my sketch things. Uh, here's it in things. Oh, it looks like you're mul doing multi-select. Um, there we go. So it's in things. I don't actually think those are in things, but okay. Oh, maybe things was in the foreground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely a thing you have to trust the people who create it. Um, they do have like some. They do have some stuff where they're talking about like privacy. Um, it's stored locally. You have control. Like it's, you know, they they. I think they're trying to do it the right way, but just inherently, this is a thing that you need to trust the app makers and it's really a personal choice whether you do or not. Um, again, it's very early days, early access. I don't know what the pricing is gonna be on this once it's uh, officially launched or anything. Uh, but right now, if you want, you can go uh, to early access and sign up uh, to get in line and try it out if you want. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. I'll put a link to this in the description and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.